the wearing of approved face covering over your mouth and nose and chin is a mandatory requirement issued by Transport Canada and it's a condition of your travel on today's flight. Alright, I just landed in Vancouver. I'm heading to the Maple Leaf Lounge now, if I can find it. As you can see, it's pretty dead here. Got about 35 minutes till the flight to Terrace departs in northwestern BC. Alright, I found myself a little spot here in the Maple Leaf Lounge at Vancouver Airport. You can see it's pretty empty today. Sunday afternoon, so I don't know if that many people are flying, but the Calgary Airport was pretty busy. Terrace is in the northwestern corner of BC, so I'm going to use that as my launching off point uh, to get out to Prince Rupert, where I'm headed next, which is on the coast in northern BC. The airport there is closed, so this was the only option in terms of getting close to there. Thank you! Alright, I'm off to the gate. I can figure out where it is. Oh, it's this way. Back to where I came from. Pushing it pretty close to departure today. Flight leaves off the ground in about 18 minutes, so I got about a couple minutes left till they close the gate on me. I've never seen a Joe and the Juice outside of Europe. These are very popular in Norway, so looks like they made their way to Canada at this point. Very cool. N'hésitez pas à vous adresser à l'un de nous. Merci de nous aider à assurer un vol sécuritaire. Alright, landed in Paris, BC. Gotta get a rental car now. Alright, got the keys to the rental car. Whew. Welcome to winter, everybody. It should be interesting. Here it is, my Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I'll be using here in Terrace. All right, not too bad. This was 40 Canadian. All right, let's hit the road. The weather is absolutely foul. You can barely even see the mountains at this point. All right, I have arrived here at the Holiday Inn Express in Terrace, British Columbia. Looks like a decent property. All right, pretty bitterly cold day today. The wind is just nasty. <sighs> All right, good morning from Terrace, British Columbia. I'm gonna be heading down towards Kitimat now, which is about 35, 40 minutes down the road. It's uh, actually on the ocean, so it's on a fjord about 55 kilometers or so south of Terrace. So not too far away. You can see beautiful mountains here on this incredibly snowy, cold February morning. But yeah, it should be a good little adventure. Um, not really sure what to expect today. My plans to leave right away are kind of dashed because they only have one train every week leaving from Terrace to Prince Rupert. So it's not like a daily route or anything like that. Luckily that train departs tonight at 6 p.m. Probably gonna be a slight delay with Via Rail. There usually is a few hours delay, give or take. So we'll see if that's actually the case today. But no matter what, I should arrive in Prince Rupert without any trouble later this evening. That said, let's go see what Northwestern British Columbia has to offer. All right, that lineup is crazy. The only Starbucks in town, but I do got myself a iced Americano. Probably ironic on a day like today.
Well, I've made it here to Kitimat, British Columbia. You can see just how heavy this snowfall is today. It's absolutely disgusting outside, so I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do much here. This is downtown Kitimat, British Columbia. You can see there's not much to it. A few services, mini malls, and a grocery store. That's pretty much it. Very small place, and I'm sure it's much more beautiful in the summer. All right, I am in the giant spruce park here. Yeah, here it is, folks. The giant spruce tree of Kitimat, British Columbia. Definitely nice to be outside. It's the perfect day for some winter adventure. The snow is thick, but the weather is warm. It's much more enjoyable than if it was freezing. I am dressed pretty warm as well, but perfect weather to enjoy the outdoors here in northwestern British Columbia. So there are bears in the area, unfortunately. I'm not sure how much of a threat that actually is. But really cool park. I'm glad they actually maintain the roads to get out here. It's a little bit of a drive from town, but really worthwhile. Such a winter wonderland today. Again, not too much to see here in Kitimat, but it is kind of an outdoorsman's paradise. So that's pretty much it, folks. Giant Spruce Park here in Kitimat, BC, home to this giant spruce tree. Just about to return the rental car here in downtown Terrace, BC. I'm gonna go check out this town for the next two hours before my train departs for Prince Rupert. There are some incredible murals all around downtown Terrace. Most of them pay homage to the local First Nations cultures of the area. Good to see the local First Nations cultures being represented through the artwork here in Terrace. So many cool murals pretty much everywhere around here. I'm gonna go for a walking tour of the downtown area now. So some First Nations artwork here on the back of the polar bear. And I am headed down this way through the heart of downtown Terrace. Not much going on. It's a family day today, so it is a provincial holiday. Everything is closed. I'm not sure what I'm going to exactly do here for the next two hours, but I don't really have a choice. It's just a flag stop train station, so I can't really wait in there either. This is downtown Terrace, BC. Pretty much just walked through the entire downtown. It took me about three minutes. And you can see right across the street here is another one of these statues. Another bear decked out with First Nations art. Apart from being a very snowy day, I'm not really seeing much here. It's a service community, so there's nothing that would draw tourists here. But the Prince Rupert Airport again is closed, so I was forced to come here instead of flying directly there. Thankfully, it's only a two hour and 20 minute train ride, in theory at least, to Prince Rupert. So getting up to the Skeena Mall now, which is the city's largest shopping center. I'm gonna try to see if there is some stores still open. A lot of them are closing early today with the holiday. Yeah, there's really not much to do in this town though. It's not a bad place, there's just nothing to do for a tourist. It is pure services. So I guess if you've been driving down the highway for a very long time, this place would come as a pretty welcome respite from the monotony of driving the Yellowhead Highway through BC. Not a ton of towns along the route. And you can see the sun is rapidly setting at this point. It's just about 5 p.m. So this is a small little totem pole that's at the entrance to the Skeena Mall. Totem poles basically tell a story and they are part of the traditional First Nations culture of the people of this area, especially northwestern part of BC, as well as the Queen Charlotte Islands or Haida Gwaii. Gonna see a lot of those when I explore Prince Rupert tomorrow, but yeah, this is the Skeena Mall. So yeah, it's not too far of a walk. I've got about three or four blocks to get down to the Via Rail Station, which is basically someone's house by the looks of it. Looks like a house, an old house they bought along the rail line. Got myself the second iced Americano of the day to keep myself moving here. This train, again, is about 45 minutes delayed, so hopefully it'll pull in pretty quick here so I can get on the road to Prince Rupert. So I've arrived here at the Via Rail Station. This is the George Little House, by the looks of it. Cute. 
Tourist Information Center slash VR Rail Station. So I'm going to go check in for the train to Prince Rupert. Cute little waiting room. Crazy, just one carriage on the whole train. All right, I am on board the Via Rail train to Prince Rupert. It is definitely empty. They were saying there's only about one or two people that ride this thing every week, which is crazy. So again, the train service in Canada has been greatly reduced due to COVID-19, and it definitely shows because there's pretty much nobody on board this train, it's incredibly empty. So I have these four seats, I guess more than that, eight seats, all to myself to be my personal domain. So pretty interesting. But anyway, it should be a nice little journey. Two hours, 20 minutes out to Prince Rupert. As you can see, the train has meal service. It's at your seat right now. There's no dining car, but it gives you an idea of the prices. Pretty reasonable. So delays along this route are not uncommon, of course, and we are just waiting for freight to pass again. So might be pulling in quite late to Prince Rupert. We'll have to see how this unfolds. Well, it is incredibly dead out here tonight. Downtown Prince Rupert. I'm here at the Highliner Hotel. Where I'm gonna be staying the night tonight. So there isn't really a nice way to put this, but this Highliner Plaza Hotel in Prince Rupert is a dump. You can see the dated furniture. This is supposed to be a four-star hotel and not necessarily true. It reminds me of kind of like a Super 8 or a Days In. Very basic for about $85, $90 US per night, 115 Canadian. This leaves a lot to be desired for sure. Anyway, I am glad to be here at the hotel in Prince Rupert. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be heading down to the Cow Bay Waterfront District to check out some of the tourist sites down in that corner of the city. I look forward to exploring the city of Prince Rupert with you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow.